A limping man ran to the hospital, tearing his heart out and yelling, My leg has been dropped. The doctor lifted his pants leg to see what was going on. The man's calf had been sawed off, and then someone else's leg had been placed on it, not even matching in size or thickness. He pleaded with his last breath for the doctor to save him before he died from blood loss. When the police received the report and saw the situation, they could not figure out whether the murderer amputated the leg to save or to kill. The police were also confused about the case, as the victim died without saying a word. They thought the murderer might be a doctor. The coroner had a different opinion. How could a person with medical knowledge be so stupid as to force a most mismatched up to be sewn onto another person's leg in the most unsupportable way? This does not allow for blood flow and can lead to severe localized tissue necrosis. This modus operandi is more like that of a seasoned butcher. During the autopsy, they found a hole in the victim's leg bone used to secure the calf. The police thought it appeared that the murderer was experimenting with limb transplantation surgery using living people, sawing off the calves of two completely unrelated people and transplanting them into the legs of another. They suspect that one of the killer's close family members may have lost their lower legs in an accident, which is why he experimented with them himself in this way. So far the murderer's experiments seem to be unskilled and can be described as a big failure. Then the person who exchanged calves with the deceased, is he still alive now? On the other side, the same tragedy is happening. The man woke up with a start and found himself tied to an operating table. Just as it tried to get up, a man in a doctor's uniform appeared. After a struggle, he was still unconscious from the anesthesia. When he wakes up again, he has been moved to a hotel and surprisingly has had his calf sawed off by the pervert. Fortunately, the black man escaped in time and was taken to the hospital to save his life. The police came to the hospital for questioning. The black man said he was tied up in a small dark clinic. Under the effect of anesthesia did not see the murderer's face, but only vaguely saw his gray hair. Should not be young? The police asked him if he had recently been to places where he needed to fill out personal information, such as banks and hospitals. The black man said that he had been going to the same blood donation room for several months in a row and that he needed to fill in his personal information when he donated blood. However, the police could not find any information about this blood donation room. It is evident that the murderer lured people in under the name of free blood donation and then brutalized them. Meanwhile, a girl was planning to donate blood and had just walked in when she saw a dying woman tied up on the bed and before she could react, she was mesmerized by the murderer. In the evening, the police then find the girl's body in the dump, again with her calf cut off by the killer and replaced with someone else's leg. It occurred to the police that the murderer used a soluble resin material every time he immobilized a lump. General morticians on the damaged body recovery will use this kind of thing, is that they immediately, according to the existing information, in the database for comparison. 50 to 60 years old male studio, mortician has relatives around after an accident became disabled. Soon compared to a man named Jack, his wife once amputated the lower leg because of a car accident. The location was quickly locked down based on the information. And in his home, the brutal persecution continued. A girl is tied to the bed by a pervert. Her calf has been sawn off and transplanted with another woman's leg. Jack can't help but look at his masterpiece with a burst of praise. Then comes to his wife and says he's going to surprise her. He returns to the operating room, only to find that the kidnapped girl has disappeared. The wife then realizes that Jack is trying to cure his disability and then uses a living person to experiment. Just then, the girl suddenly appeared from behind the curtain and held the wife hostage with a scalpel to force Jack to let her go. Who would have thought that Jack would not eat this? directly rushed over and stepped anesthesia on the girl's neck. Luckily, the police arrived in time and broke into the operating room when they heard the noise. But Jack used the girl to threaten the police. The police tell Jack's wife that everything Jack did was because he loves you, and now you're the only one who can save him. Jack's wife tells him in tears, I never wanted to be cured because disability is not a disease to me. It is you who should be cured. When Jack heard his wife's words, suddenly realized he finally let go of the girl and also let go of their own. In fact, as long as the heart is optimistic and full of light, even if the body is crippled, is still intact and healthy. But once the psychological problems into a distorted personality, even if the limbs are sound, but the potential for defects if you do not adjust in time, will be their own and the people around them will be dragged into the endless abyss.